you have seen me moving around the viewport, so I want to teach you how to become very comfortable with the editor, and especially navigating the viewport, which is a very important part in making levels. So the first thing, you already know how to add things to the level. You just get to the, to the content drawer, which as you can see here, the shortcut is control the spacebar, and that's what I will be using from now. You get a static mesh or whatever that can be put on the level. And to test if you can put it on the level or not, you can just drag and drop it to the level and see what's happening. To delete it, you can right click and just delete the actor. And that's in edit, delete, or just press the delete key. So let's just press the delete key, it's a lot faster. And also I'll delete this actor that I added here. Right, so how do you move the camera? Well, with your mouse, whenever you press the right button and you hold it, you can move your camera around. So you rotate it on the same uh, point. So you remain in the same place and you rotate the camera around. If I just hold the left one, I can rotate it side to side, but if I go forward and backward, I will be moving my camera around. Some people like this type of movement. I really don't. <laughs> I much prefer to hold the right mouse button like, like we did before and then play with WASD. And it will feel just like a game. You press W and wherever you're look, looking towards, you will go that way. D will go, make you go backwards, D to the right and A to the left. Now, if you want to go up and down, you can use Q to go to go down and E to go up. And again, right now I'm holding my right mouse button. If you press Z of Zebra, then you can increase the field of view. If you press Z for car, then you can zoom in to somewhere. And when you release the mouse, you will go back to normal. So don't worry about it. Right, so now you know how to navigate very easily, just like a game. But what if I'm very far away and I want to focus a point? I can select either in the map or either in the outliner, something, and then I can just press the F key. But if I selected it through the outliner, if I press F, oh, I mean, it still work. If it doesn't work, then make sure to get the focus back to the viewport and then press F and then you will go right and, and focus the actor, which is very useful. Now, if you want to rotate around it, you can just hold Alt and then and then and then use the the left mouse button. I don't know why it, I couldn't say left. So again, if I focus, I will put my actor in the middle. And now, if I use hold Alt and then left mouse button, my actor will be in the middle. If I hold the right mouse button, I can zoom in and out to that point. And it works very well if you focus something. Otherwise, if you just are in floating around with your camera and you just hold Alt and try to rotate the camera, it's going to choose any, any point really, like an imaginary point that we can't see right now. So yeah, super easy way to rotate around the uh, actor. 
other useful tip here is that the camera movement, you can modify how fast or how slow you will be able to go. You can go here and you can change the camera speed. You put a, <laughs> a high value and then when you move with W and S, you will move very fast. You put a low value and now you can be very precise with the movement. And even lower and you will be even slower. Now, it's a pain to always come here and set your speed value. So a good tool to know is that whenever you are dealing with that, for example, movement, I want it to be a little faster. I will keep holding my right mouse button or whatever thing that I am using to move my camera around. And then with the scroll wheel, I'm going to move it either up and you can see how this number changes. So again, I'll do it. And now I'm moving faster. Or I can use the scroll wheel down and the scroll wheel down will give me even finer control, especially when I'm moving around the level. That's excellent. Now let's try duplicating some actors and let me go back to my speed one. If I wanted to duplicate this, you can use the right click and use the options edit and duplicate or you can use control D. Another way to duplicate stuff is just adding some change either in the location, rotation or a scale. But before adding the change, holding Alt, if you hold Alt and move your object around, then you are duplicating it. So it's very useful. Now what happens if I'm duplicating stuff, but I run out of my, my camera vision? Well, now if I want my camera to follow around the movement of any actor in the level, I can hold shift and now you will see that my camera is moving with my object. It's again something very useful and if you don't remember everything that you're seeing here, here don't worry, you can come back to this video uh, to remember the shortcut. Don't worry, you will get better and you will remember all this uh, as long as you're still using the engine. and you become, um, you start playing with it, you will become better at using it. Like any other engine, you can select multiple stuff by holding shift and clicking. I mean, you won't, I, I chose a, <laughs> a not so good color. Let me just test it with this. I'm selecting this, I'm holding shift and now I'm selecting everything else and you can delete it, move it, whatever you would like to, to do. In my case, I just want to delete these cubes. And yeah, remember, it's just like any other engine. So right now I'm just seeing the perspective view, as you can see here. We can change the type of views that we have, either by clicking here or using the shortcuts. Or we can even split it to the classic type of CAD view that programs like Maya or programs like AutoCAD has, where I have a perspective. This is my top view. This is my front. This is my right. And in these viewports, the right click will move it around. The scroll will, will zoom your, your camera. And again, we can go back here. And if we press F11, we can make our screen bigger, a full screen. This is especially useful when you're recording gameplay and you don't want to waste too much screen by showing these type of menus. So yeah, 
With this, it's just a matter of practice and you will get better using the viewport. Don't you worry about it. Just remember what I'm, <laughs> what I have told you in this video. And something that I was missing before deleting these objects, you can hide object, objects. Just select whatever actors that are in your level and press H. You press H again and they will appear as long as they are selected. So if I come back to my outliner and see the close eye, it's because it was hidden. If there are a lot of hidden objects that you don't remember and you don't want to find them all, you just want to make them appear, just use Control H and all the hidden objects will appear. Also, and finally, this is a little gotcha that most new developers eventually run into where maybe they are not able to see like the collisions or the camera. And this is because <laughs> by accident, they may have pressed the letter G. G will give you the look of the game when you actually play the game. You will not be able to see the collision capsules or any type of debug text that helps you create the level. You just need to press G again and you will get everything back. Yeah, so that's some things to take in consideration when you are using the viewport and when you're creating a level. So I hope this was hel helpful to you and that you keep playing with the engine. It's the best way to get comfortable with it.